Alright, we've worked on eight on a hand at least for two minutes straight. We've done the single stroke roll or alternating single strokes for two minutes straight. Now it's time to learn another rudiment. This rudiment is called the double stroke roll. On your rudiment sheet, this is rudiment number seven. Now, again, what we're going to work toward, what we're aspiring to, is to be able to play a double stroke roll like that but we've got to start slowly and develop the right techniques. So what we're doing today is playing alternating double strokes. We did single strokes where it's just right, left, right, left. Now we're doing double strokes. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Now I have my students do this exactly the same way as I do on the alternating single strokes. I count to 16 starting on the right hand. One, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, stop, then start on the left hand, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, that will put your left hand on the strong beats and increase your chances of the left hand strengthening and being sounding the same as your right hand. Now let me go through a couple of points here. Make sure that your double strokes sound exactly even. It should sound like two rebound strokes. So if I'm playing eight on a hand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, my double stroke should sound exactly like two on a hand, one, two. Every stroke sounds exactly the same. A lot of students, because it's a double stroke, will have the second stroke sound softer. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? Or a lot of them will start using their forearms. So I want to make sure that it sounds like I'm playing two on a hand, essentially. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. You have the same assignment this week as we do with the single stroke roll. You're going to put your metronome on 90, and you're going to play for two minutes straight, starting on the right hand for 16, dropping four, starting on the left hand for 16. So all of these techniques and rudiments will really increase your ability to have your muscles memorize what that feels like. Over the course of time, you'll be able to play a double stroke roll with that kind of quality. But don't rush the process. 90 beats a minute for the full week. In the next video lesson, we're going to work on the stick control exercises of lesson one.